Breakthrough Series collaborative approach was designed by the Institute for Healthcare Improvement in 2001. Since then, it has been adapted and adopted by many other fields, including child trauma, child welfare, and in the childcare world. So we are adopting it for the farm to early care and education field. The key elements of the Breakthrough Series collaborative approach that we are using are that we are a community of learners, that we work in teams, that we work in affinity groups, that we use plan, do, study, act cycles, and we use metrics. Each county puts together a team of childcare staff, parents, a farmer, and smart start executive director and technical assistance specialists. And they are working together as a team, meeting monthly to wrestle with challenges and discuss with each other. The collaborative has been very helpful achieving the goals that we have for the ECE. It's always good to have people from different backgrounds and different areas. So then we can mingle those ideas that everybody have and, and come up with a final goal or a final activity or a way of doing things that they benefit the families and the children that we are working for and, we, and that are involved in the initiative. I am on the teacher part of the collaborative, um, or in the teacher and fitting group, and I love collaborating with other teachers, talking about different things that they're doing in their classrooms. Just the exchange of information between the cooperative extension, between the technical support with the partnerships for children, and we've really gleaned a lot of information from our parent support. Um, and just providing a vehicle for us all to be able to get on the same page and kind of move the work forward. So Collaborative has been a great um, resource for that. My role with the Collaborative is that I am Child Care Director for Community School for People Under Six. And as a part of this project, my role still as Director is to really to carry back all of the information and to help this center to continue to improve, work with families and children in this process of uh, growing the gardens and uh, about good nutrition. So it's been a great process. Throughout this year-long process, we've heard how exciting and helpful it is for farmers to be talking with child care center directors and for Smart Start technical assistance specialists to be working with one child care center and then understanding how to spread that to other child care centers. So the ripple effects of this approach are wonderful to, to observe. So all throughout this process, our teams throughout the state have been meeting, networking, collaborating, and learned about Farm to ECE, so what it is, what it looks like on the ground. They set a vision for their team and recognize what assets they already had. And then we did regional racial equity in the food system trainings where regions kind of got together and learned about how equity manifests in their daily work. And then we met three more times face to face with all of our local teams getting together at the state level. But in this last collaborative learning session, we got all the teams together for kind of a culminating event where they, again, networked with each other and collaborated, but they are really seen as the experts as far as being able to share their lessons learned. So each team actually put on a 15-minute presentation to all the other teams around some successful strategies, you know, gardening with infants and toddlers, reaching out to farmers, sharing successes and lessons learned and different strategies to try. At those meetings, we were able to share our challenges, our successes in the program, and just that sharing alone, we were able to problem solve. I think once you say it, and then everybody talks about it, the solution is already on the table. The gains that I've seen from the collaborative have been taking a child care center who really had not used local fresh fruits and vegetables to an, a level of being comfortable and understanding the value of serving fresh fruits and vegetables in the center. Uh, watching the excitement of the children as they experience new fruits and vegetables and seeing our entire community begin to embrace this possibility of local fruits and vegetables for young children and families too. 
My role as the um, Director of Early Care and Education has been to also be part of the Shape and See initiative and that our mission was originally to start transforming outdoor learning environments and of course bring in the nutritional enhancement and the physical activity. The Farm 2 Child Care Initiative has been just a perfect fit for that because we already were transforming our outdoor learning environments and also including garden beds and gardening activities and, and so this was just a perfect fit. I think lessons that we've learned from other participants have really um, been that we have a lot of the same barriers and struggles. Um, we're all so different and our centers are individual businesses and they're unique but we're all learning these same lessons together. So one thing to highlight about this collaborative model approach is that it is non-hierarchical in nature and the wisdom, insight, and expertise of every team member is seen as critical and is elevated. The heart of how we're accomplishing our racial equity goals in the Farm to ECE program is through the very structure of it itself. So we're looking at the collaborative nature of the project in its core. So everything from how we brought the participants together, these were all folks that were already doing Farm to ECE or had some desire themselves, so there's that momentum there. We're bringing them together and they're really designing things. So the work that we're doing, the trainings that we're doing, the gatherings that we're doing are all created by the desires and the needs of the collective itself. I think one of the things that we've learned in this process is that we are all different. We all come from different backgrounds, we all ate different foods, we grew different foods or didn't grow any foods when we were coming up. So I think we have to be very intentional and we have to meet parents where they are and meet children where they are. Well, we're using equity, first of all, in terms of the exposure of, for the kids. And then we talk about it, we talk about what people do in, in their families, etc. So then they can learn that being different is good, that we can learn from each other. The gains that we've seen with the collaborative um, is connection with the cooperative extension, um, getting a little bit more information about local farmers, um, learning about different crops in different seasons, what to expect in our gardens. When the parents come back and talk about the change that happened at the center transcend into the home. Um, you know, Ms. Kim, we were shopping and they began to select the fresh fruits and vegetables and putting them in the car and said, we eat this at school. I want it at home, Mommy. 